I really wasn't that conversant with the foundation when I was first approached. And when I looked at the board, I saw people on the board who were friends of mine and people who I thought were, who were movers and shakers in the community. So Peggy Ogden was in charge at that time and I decided to, uh, to join. Back then, in the early days, this was a bigger company town, carrier, uh, automobiles, uh, different places with many employees. Krauss Heinz was also another big employer. They all pretty much closed or faded away. So now we're looking at, in a sense, a more compressed community because we don't have the ability to go to a carrier and say, we'd like you to pay $2 million to name the dome. That kind of firepower isn't really too obvious here now. But on the other hand, a lot of uh, expansion has taken place. You, clearly, there is a big opportunity for enhanced growth for the foundation for an abundance of reasons. There is a fair amount of wealth in this community, and part of the challenge is to try to get some of that deposited with the foundation, which can then be turned back into community involvement, which is sometimes desperately needed. The organization knows what it's doing, so I'm comfortable with where they're going and how they'll get there. They'll definitely, they should, barring a cataclysmic financial event, they should be bigger and stronger as each year goes by. One of the major problems we continue to have is our ability to bring in closer our minority population. But there's a lot to be done in our community and uh, hopefully part of the investment of the foundation would point in that direction. We've got to bring the impoverished in closer to those who have more than they do. I think the organization can do that.